Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you about post-transplant lung for profilerative disease injury. Post-transplant lung for proliferative disease, PTRD, spec is a spectrum of abnormal lung for proliferation in transplant patients. Most common signs in the body are heartbeat, fever, weight loss, tonsillitis, transplant dysfunction. Another sign symptoms depend on location of the airway, noise and breathing, snoring, change in voice, gastrointestinal secretory diarrhea, hematemesis, hematochesia, interception, central abdominal, abdominal pain, distension, multi system, all in fail, chest. May be as asymptomatic with incidental opacity on chest algebra, fever, and decreased pulmonary function tests. Head and neck. Mononucleosis like symptoms include fever, malaise, denopathy, and bronchitis. Neurologic seizure or called neurological disease. Demographic age, children more than adults. Heavy neurology, most common malignancy in pediatric transplant patients, around 52%. Incident of post transplant lung for proliferative disease in children is four times higher than adults. Incident increase with increased immunosuppression. Incident increase in transplant that require more immunosuppression, highest in small bowel transplant and heart lung transplant, lower in kidney and liver transplant. Aging, any organ system can be affected. Abdominal region is most commonly involved by post transplant lymphoproliferative disease, including. Gastroenterosis, bowel sickening, and dilated, dilation, eccentric mass, luminal maceration, mesenteric stranding, and interception. Liver, low attenuation nodule, peripotal infiltration, heterogeneous portal hepatitis mass. Spleen, splenomegaly, multiple low attenuation nodule, kidney, nephromegaly, multiple portal parenchymal masses, heterogeneous renal or parenteral mass, pararenal mass, chest pulmonary mass, parenchymal nodule, pleural effusion, adenopathy, imaging, lesion house when detection by ultrasound, CT or MI. DWI MI increased consistency, PT of node again soft tissue. Fat CT is useful for staging and therapy as well. in CT in the bowel, with the study of renal transplants and a new diagnosis of post transplant lung for proliferative disorder. So, abnormal sickening of the bowel, center near the ileocecava and sickle. The right lower quadrant transplant kidney is also visible. F18, FDG, FDCT in the same patient adolescent cell. FDG uptake with zinc, peripotal, and mesenteric lung load. The right lower quadrant renal transplant is partially included. Ultrasound in an adolescent with history of small bowel transplant, so multiple small hypoechoic nodule scattered throughout the liver. This nodule will later confirm to represent both transplant lung for reparative disorder. 
Pronto c'era di grappi di Yang Chang, with liver transplants a multiple around pulmonary opacity, bilaterally as well as considered in the right effort. T2 avasomia in a patient so that the node of mass uh, hyperintent to muscle and nearly isointent to bowel. Node of mass of this size and smaller can be difficult to separate from adjacent bowel without the WI of fat imaging. T1, C plus OMI, so multiple ring enhancement region throughout the brain in a child with story of renal transplant, biopsy revealed absent bowel virus, post transplant wrongful repetitive disorder. Brain PTLD is uncommon, especially with a renal transplant. Treatment Reduce immunosuppression upon absent of virus zero con conversion or increased absent of viral load. Work best is nearly is early blood lesion and polymorphic PTLD. Must balance with the risk of transplant rejection. Chemotherapy. For avoid malignancy, macular tumor. If in adequate response to reduce immunosuppression. Thank you.